3D modeling is a very hectic job, especially for beginners. But the models you are seeing right now on the screen is created with the help of AI. You have to try it. Now we just have to write down the prompt and the model will automatically appear in front of us. Amazingly, we can also retopologize our model with the help of same AI powered engine. In this tutorial, we will discover all these stuff. So the first website is Tripod 3D AI. I will click on start for free. These are the list of models which are created by other artists. We can select anyone to check the prompt. For example, when someone gives this prompt, Homanoid LZ character, this is the model which was created. We can download that model directly in GLB format and bring it to the Blender. Or we can favoritize that and get inspiration from this prompt. So I have write down this prompt, Donald Trump in a sports car, photorealistic. Let's see what it will create for us. We will click on a create button. So these are the fields which they give us. And I think the cl closest one is that one because we can see the Donald Trump, but we can't see the car. And even we can see it as a complete 3D model. It looks much better, but, but without car, we will click on refine button to refine the model furthermore. So while it's refining our model, we will test the recent one. So I will click on import. There is an option of .glb format. And I will go and select this one. You will see the model has come here. And if I click on a material preview button, you will see the material. I think it's superb, but if we check the geometry, it needs to be a refined for Blender at least. We will have to remesh or retopologize re our model before, before using it in a Blender. Otherwise, it will take a lot of our resources. Let's see the texture also by going to the UV editing tab. You will see the texture over here. It is pretty messy and a little hard to edit any stuff. For example, I will select this one island selection like that. So this is the head header part. Uh, this is the part from the head. If I bring that one here and you will see the change in a texture. Pretty basic stuff. But you can see the texture is very messy, at, at least before you to apologize. But as per the model, I can say that pretty impressive as we have just given the prompt to the AI and get this model and bring another one, which is ready. So the refining is done. Let's download and test it. You can see this model is more detailed as per the texture part. You, uh, but uh, if we see the geometry, the geometry still need to be refined or retopologized. As you can see, the texture is very much improved in a refining process, but there is a hole through you can look inside. Let's test the retopologize option. For the model like that, the bicycles and other stuff, the AI is not capable enough to create the wheel for us. It is these are just a model which need a lot of which need a lot of modeling also. So these are not, not much beneficial in my personal opinion. Uh, but the beneficial one are these, like you can say this duck is looking very good, very realistic at least. If you zoom in, you can see the texture is great and we can copy this prompt to make it for ourselves. Plus we can download this model directly. So let's test this one also. So I have write down this prompt, prompt the super realistic and let's see what it will create for us. So it's created a few models for us. You can see that none of them has follows over prompt. It's a straight away our duck, no, not, not a hominid, you can say. The only hominid character I'm seeing right now is that one. If I zoom in, you can see it's a duck, it's a hominid, but it's not look cool. That one looks fine to me. And there is an option of retopologize over here. If I click that, and retopologize with the highest option. We have the option to download the FPX, and I think that well, that one will be much better for us. Let's test both. And now everything is done. I will click on download button. So the duck is ready with the retopologize, and we will save that. So the duck we have retopologized. You can clearly see the difference. It's work awesome and retopologize really well. First model we have, we haven't done any stuff. The second one is with the refine process and the third one is with high level retopologize option. Before signing off, let me give you another website that is Luma Lab. 
dot AI. Uh, both of them are pretty much same. You can test that one also. There are hundreds of models available in a list. We can use that prompt. We can use that prompt directly or create the custom one with the prompt. LumaLab also gives you the four options to choose from. So if you choose that, uh, the other options are pretty much the same. Hopefully you have discovered something new with Blender and AI. See you again.